Lynn, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, thank you for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed today's content enough to mash that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications bell, that way you never miss another upload and just sit back and enjoy my content. And huge thank you to Ken for collaborating with me on this video, I am so grateful. So I'm not sure which one of you beauties have actually seen these episodes, but oh my gosh, over the past few weeks, I have become a super fan of all things Adrian. Adrian Holden has her own YouTube channel where she shares tips and tricks on styling and decorating her home, doing her makeup, and even dressing on a budget girlfriend. So you already know that's right up my alley. And I absolutely loved, 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 loved her house tour episode. Oh my gosh, guys, that was literally right up my alley. If you don't believe me, you can check it out for yourself by clicking right here. So seeing how glamorous Adrienne's house tour was, it totally inspired me to do my own decor on a budget. We're gonna decorate my guest bathroom from start to finish on a budget, but we're gonna make sure that it's luxury, it's glamorous, it's right up all of our alley. So if you guys are interested in decorating with me, stay tuned. So without further ado, let's get to glamorizing. Okay, so as you can see, the space is pretty small, but this is the official like little guest bathroom when people do come over and chill in the living room and they need like a quick bathroom to go to. This is a three quarter bathroom. It's too big to be a powder room, but too small to be a full guest bathroom slash master bathroom. But it is a fairly decent size. You do have your sink to wash your hands. You have the toilet and then you have the bathtub and the shower. So whenever I'm decorating and I have a color scheme in mind, I like to find my shower curtain first since it is the largest scaled item in the room. Um, and I like to use regular window panels because I like it to fall closer to the floor. Um, so 84 inch panels is perfect. So I ended up getting this drape set from Tuesday morning for $22.99, the 84 inch long panels. And as you see, it's a cream color with like white metallic flowers on it. And I thought it went really well with the colored um, tile and the floor. So starting off with artwork, I purchased this mirrored frame and a book of frameable quotes from Michaels and I could not find any artwork for the bathroom that suited the theme that I was going for. So I figured that this book of frameable quotes would be really convenient, really efficient and would definitely get the job done. So it has several different quotes and I could change it up at any time in the bathroom or any space in the home. So as I flipped through, I found the Eiffel Tower and Bonjour written on the frameable quote, which is perfect because it's written in metallic, so it's definitely gonna pop through the glass picture frame. And so all I'm doing is tearing it out, opening the picture frame and sticking it inside. Very simple, and it gives it a very luxe look being that the frame is mirrored. So because I don't wanna risk putting any extra holes in my wall, because your girl is clumsy AS. F, I am going to use command strips and I'm just taking four and placing one in each corner Basically just pulling off the little white paper to where it's sticky Press firmly down on each corner and then you're going to take another four and you're going to basically stick Each one on top of the four that you've placed down But do not peel off the white paper yet until you're ready to stick on the wall So now I'm just eyeballing the area that I would like to place the frame art. I've gotten pretty good at it without using a little leveler or level, whatever it's called. Um, but being that I've gotten pretty good and I know exactly where I want the frame art, I'm going to go ahead and peel off the white sticky paper on the back of the command strips. And I'm placing it gently on the wall just to get the positioning right. And then I'm going to press down firmly on each corner for about 30 seconds. I like to kind of count a little bit over to about 50 seconds, but for time's sake, I'm just gonna kind of speed through it. And now all I'm doing is cutting off the excess tab that's kind of hanging um, in the back of the picture frame because the picture frame was not a flat surface, so I had to kind of like make it do what it do. And so I just figured, hey, you know what? I'm gonna place it right at the end 
that way it can hold firmly and then I'm just going to cut whatever is peeking through. I found the storage cabinet at my local home goods. I originally wasn't going to get it because I just felt like, oh, I don't need any more storage because I already have a cabinet above the toilet. But I really couldn't pass it up because I felt like it just did something to the space. Um, it was $119 on sale for $79 bucks and I was just like, oh my gosh, totally. So what I did, I measured the distance between the toilet and the wall and then I measured the cabinet as a whole and then also the space between the toilet and the cabinet because I just wanted to ensure that whoever was using the restroom could get to the tub and shower easily. They could sit on the toilet and not have to worry about their knees knocking. I originally was going to use my little mirrored stand that I got from Ross in my recent home decor haul but I decided that this was more efficient. It has a drawer, it has a cabinet at the bottom so I can put air fresheners, toilet tissue, travel size, you know, little things for my guests. And also I could use the top as a display. So I was just like, yes, I'm sold. And I love the lucite that's around the, um, the border of the cabinet. It's the clear with the gold trimming and I love it. I love the hardware on it as well. Bonjour, oui, oui. I had to get an Eiffel Tower, okay? So I got this mirrored um, Eiffel Tower from Home Goods and this faux floral arrangement from Home Goods as well. I wanted a pop of color in the bathroom, so I went with coral and blush. So for the bath rug, I'm only opting to do one bath rug instead of two. The one around the toilet, I just felt like it wasn't needed, being that the bathroom's kind of small. But I chose a very neutral color scheme, white. Well, it's kind of like an off-white and like a taupey shade. And it would just tie in better instead of having like a color overload. So what I'm doing instead, I'm going to incorporate color on my towel rack display. So I bought some coral hand towels, some white, and also like a peachy blush tone. And you'll see that right here, I was kind of like indecisive if I wanted to layer the white over the coral or the peachy blush over the coral. Because of the distance between the towel rack and the toilet itself, I didn't want to go with like a huge bath towel. So I kind of have a gap in between the hand towels that I'm trying to like fill up with some faux flowers. I tried using a candle, I tried using a perfume bottle, and I'm just kind of playing around with the idea of kind of filling up the space. So this tray here, it's giving me more of a Parisian vibe. Um, I found this at Tuesday morning and I feel like it fits better with the whole theme. And I'm trying a new set of floral flowers and yeah, like it has a bunch of colors in it, but it's, I don't know, it's popping to me. What do you guys think? Should I do this set? Should I not? Another idea was to spray paint this little sign that I found at Home Goods. It says Paris and I found it in the office section and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so dope. But it was white and I wanted it to, you know, just have like more of a little oomph to it. So I bought some metallic gold spray paint and as you see, I'm just spray painting it now and I'm going to find a place for it in the bathroom. I'm not sure just yet where exactly I'm going to place it but I know I have to use it because I'm going for that whole Parisian theme. So after spray painting it and letting it dry for about an hour, hour and a half, this is the finished result and I think it looks really good. So because the shower area is never really in use, unless I'm hosting for the holidays, I'm going to keep my curtains drawn back and I'm not going to put a shower lining up until it's time to be used. And I bought this little um, tassel back ring set here from Tuesday morning but I cut the tassel off because it was a blush pink and not a peachy blush pink so I just didn't want to overdo it with color so all I'm doing now is kind of gathering the curtains together putting the loop in front of it and then passing the little um pole behind it and it keeps it in place and then you just kind of play around and tug at your curtains to get the look that you want and then inside, I hate when it's messy, so I'm going to keep all body soaps in the little storage cabinet. And I'm just going to put a full floral arrangement inside, along with some exfoliating body scrub on a candle pillar. So for the hand station area, I have this acrylic box that I am going to fill up with some napkins when I find some that are pretty long in width. 
and disposable and matches the color theme. And then I have some um, hand soap and hand lotion sitting on top. And then lastly, I like to keep my air freshener in sight and also hand sanitizer, but I don't have any clear one right now. I only have blue and it didn't match. So I'm putting my perfume bottle out. And that's all there is to it to turn your bathroom from looking drab to looking fab you lust. So there you have it, glam on a budget. So let me know your thoughts or if you have any suggestions on how I can make my glam bathroom on a budget um, a little bit more glamorous if you have any tips and tricks, um, anything that you may have seen that you feel may look better you know, in one place or if I should remove something. Just whatever your thoughts are, be sure to leave it beneath this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. I've had so much fun. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and also if you're feeling a little generous, please, please, please share this video and give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to check out All Things Adrian, which comes out every single Tuesday. You will not be disappointed with her episodes. Huge thank you again to Ken for sponsoring this video. I had so much fun creating this. So yeah, guys, I won't take up too much of your time. Get to decorating and you already know the drift. Be you, be beautiful, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.